Hello and welcome to jimhanson.ca. Today I would like to speak to you about the ongoing teacher job action. Let's begin by reviewing some facts. The fact is, and nobody can dispute it, during the last 12 years, the BC Liberal government has decreased the percentage of our provincial wealth that it spends on our education system. This has made it harder for teachers. It's made it harder for students with special needs. Class sizes have grown larger, and the overall performance of our educational system is on decline. Of course, at the same time, it's also a fact that the economy is not doing well. Our provincial debt is approaching $60 billion, and our government has a responsibility to all British Columbians, and especially to our children, to keep their costs under control. And of course, the fact is as well that over the last few years, we've seen court judgments from our provincial courts holding the BC government's actions in relations to teachers and class size and composition unlawful. And those are all facts. But at the same time, there are other facts to consider. Here we are at the end of the school year Children are approaching their final examinations, and when they do go to school, what they face is a labor dispute. This is a disgrace. This is a disgrace and sets the worst possible example for our children. In an era in which respect for authority has already grown so weak, how can our children look up to anybody when they are being presented with this type of an issue in the schools. So when it comes to talking about the ongoing teacher strike, what I say to both sides is grow up. The fact is our kids aren't getting an education. The fact is this is hurting our province now and will hurt the province into the future. What I say to both sides is be the adults here, take charge, get this dispute settled so that our kids can go to school and finish their school year.